in the year 1437, there was a tragic accident that happened to the Queen of Estellan. That was the day when Princess Penny was born. The news of the Queen passing away during labor flooded the kingdom instantly. As for Penny, she lived a miserable and unfortunate life cased aside from her father and her older brother, Prince Philip. Good morning, Father. As you already know, I am not fond of you ever since the Queen is passing. I have made arrangements of marrying you off to Emperor Lacrezin in four days. This is not a request, it is an order. But why did you call Philip and I, if the news was directed towards me? I called Philip here to let you know. He'll be my heir to the throne so there is no need for you to return home. Congratulate. Don't bother. I won't miss you. Whatever. At least I'll be living happily ever after far from you. I guess you're dumbfounded on the rumors about him. It is said that you'll be his 16th bride. 16. What happened to the previous 15? Rumors say his brides always vanish after the marriage. It's like they disappeared in thin air. I think you're the dumbfounded one. Little did she know. Prince Philip was indeed not lying about the rumors regarding Theon. Penny, in the other hand, was extremely excited to leave her kingdom thinking her misfortune would end. Hey, enjoy the stay while you can. I'll show you to the suite. Get in. Just a reminder, we won't bother you, so don't bother us. And so the wedding took place within the palace's gardens. Penny was amused with excitement, however. Her groom did not say a single word during the ceremony. Good evening. Please come in. His Grace wishes to speak to you, my lady. I hope the tea is to your liking. I apologize for not being able to spend time with you after the wedding. That's all right, your majesty. May I please get some more tea? I'm afraid the tea is too cool for your taste buds. Now please accept this freshly picked bouquet specially made for you. As soon as Penny took a small whiff of the bouquet, she suddenly passed out and had a strange vision playing in her head. Is that a dream? I'd better rest somewhere else. Finally awake, I see. How about joining me for dinner tonight? I'll ask the chefs to prepare a delicious meal. That sounds splendid. How foolish. Did you say something? Of course not. I'll take my leave now as I have meetings to attend. After Theon left, Penny decided to look around the castle, however, she gets Run. a eerie feeling coming from the paintings of his Escape. previous wives. Hide! Why are these paintings speaking to me? My dear friend, we were once in your shoes. If you do not run away in time, you will perish. This reminds me of the dream I had. I wonder what's behind that door. Penny was eager to find out what lays behind the door, but she couldn't figure out the code for it. Minutes later, she heard voices. Hey, wake up. I'm hungry. Please feed me. You'll be fed after you accomplish a mission. What? 
As you may know, I recently got married again, this time to Penny Estella. I need you to capture her after our dinner tonight. Deal! My lady, it's almost time for dinner. We must get you ready. I'd like to rest here for a bit. Could you fetch some cookies from the kitchen? Of course. Penny felt a sickening feeling growing in her body. She knew she had to make haste as soon as possible before it's too late. <gasps> Chase after her and bring her back alive. I was hoping you'd be smarter, but I guess not. Tell me what's going on. Your father and I are on the same boat. He sent you here knowing what'll happen to you. Even your own father doesn't want you. So what better way to end this misery right here than to continue your journey? One week later, Emperor Theon Lockrezen hung pictures of his missing empress all over the kingdom. He pleaded the citizens of O find her, and in return they shall receive a lifetime supply of golden bars.